about how the day went? Did, what was the, let's actually break it down, what was the first pack group like when you guys were all brought together to start? Helen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of took charge a little bit. Um, I don't know, it just felt comfortable. So I think we had, yeah, a pretty big pack. It's harder to know when you're up in the front, but felt pretty comfortable just clipping off whatever we were clipping off. I didn't look at my watch, so I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I think we kind of rode, had that pack together for a solid, I don't know what, 10, 11 miles. And then it kind of broke up a little bit. Um, and you had kind of fallen off a little bit, but then had tweeted like this was part of your race plan. So did you feel comfortable even when those moves were happening? Yeah, I mean, we looked at my marathon career and we're like, I don't do all the searches. I just have to run at like even pace. And he's like, I think if you can run 5.30 to 5.35, like if you run 2.26 on this course, you will finish well. And sure enough, that was sixth not, place. Not fifth. <laughs> yeah, not fifth, <laughs> son of a... But um, yeah, he thought I was in that fitness, but um, that was a whole nother story. But yeah, that was the plan to begin with. So I didn't feel like I got dropped. I, I knew I had to check off. Kellen, for you, I saw you coming through at mile 24, 25, looking really strong. How did you feel in those last couple miles? Really tired. Really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I felt um, appropriately tired. I think, you know, um, obviously you can feel pretty good with like six miles to go. And then this is such a hard course, you know, the last 10 miles, really. It just gets so hard um, that your legs really start to feel beat up as you get uh, to the end. So, yeah, my legs were definitely feeling it. From a cardiovascular standpoint, it felt great, but, you know, body was breaking down for sure. Um, so just tried to hang on. How did this compare to where your expectations were for the race and kind of where you had hoped? Um, I mean, expectations are always really high. You know, we always go into any race majors, not, not excluded, uh, wanting to finish as high as we can, hopefully on the podium. Um, so I guess, no, we didn't do that. Um, but if you were to look at, at least for me, like my segment as a whole was very odd. Um, so I, don't, I would say it ended up better than maybe my segment would have predicted that it would have went. Yeah, mine, um, you know, marathon's been a little mystery to me in my career. Um, I kind of feel like things always fall into place, but then I seem to like fallen apart the last 10K of most all of them. So I either have to figure out there's someone is there something I'm doing wrong or am I just not that good at the marathon <laughs> and, and it's very possible it's the, it's the latter half but you know it's one of those like you're riding the line of like dreaming big and like putting in all the hard work and then living in optimistic reality and figuring out where you lie and it's not that we're not trying hard and we're not envisioning ourselves like being up in the front pack and like I said being on the podium um, sometimes it just doesn't come together but the longer I do this it like feels pretty good to be like on a really bad day, which I feel like I've had quite a bit. I still do okay. Like 10th on a bad day for me is all right. And I think we, we have a lot of standards for our team. And I think 6th and 10th on our not best days, you know, it's all right. What does it mean to you guys to see the level of American women? And how, I mean, had to have been one of the top number of American women to finish in the top 10. What is that? Do you guys think about that a lot? Mom yeah, we, we, we said we should have been marathoning 10 years ago. We may not be winning. No. Oh, it's exciting. You know, it's exciting to have that many American women, women competing and contending for those top spots. Um, you know, excellence kind of uh, you rise to the excellence that the other people are uh, competing at. So um, it helps to elevate us as well. Was there any conversations? I know during the Olympic trials, you and Laura and Des were kind of chatting with each other about making moves. Were you, was there any talk on the course today when you guys were in that path? I don't know if I said a single word. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes there is, yeah. but I feel like there wasn't much before. Like sometimes we'd be like, oh, what are you going to do today? But I think everyone just like had their MO and they were trying to stick to it. And it's like we had the international feel, but then there's always a race within the race. You know, we were all coming off the trial and probably wanted to meet each other, you know, better our places. So, um, yeah, but then there's a shared camaraderie when you're out there. If you're with someone, you want to beat them, but you're also knowing that you're like doing better when you're next to each other. Yeah. Awesome. How's the crowd out there? Oh, well, the crowd's always amazing. You know, I think that I this is the best that I've done on this course, like being composed with the crowds. Um, because I feel like every other time that I've ran this race, it's been like that rush of adrenaline, you know, coming off of the bridges or in other random parts of it where it just is like, oh man, I'm really 
excited. Oh, well, good thing it's at mile 13. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, the crowds were great. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Happy overall. Sorry, I missed the beginning. Where, where do you feel? Like, how do you feel? Um, yeah. When we go into marathons, obviously, we're always trying to be like we want to be on the podium, we want to win, we want to do like all the big things. And when you don't do that, then no, I don't think that you can walk away and be like, yeah, I'm super ecstatic with where I finished. Um, but then if you take a step back and kind of look at where you came in, um, my segment personally was just kind of like, it was weird, I think is the best way to put it. So the way that I competed today, I'm, I'm really proud of that and I don't really have any regrets with anything that I did. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, two in the top it? ten, you guys. Uh, you just had, I've had a lot what, of them. Very depressed. <laughs> Big picture, you look back at Tim. I mean, you know, like, don't you want us to be that way? Because, like, right, we, it looks both ways. Yeah, so. yeah, it's like we do have high standards, and when you see what other people in the world are doing, you can't help but be like, all right, like, we got to be there too. Um, but I don't, like you said, on your bad days, if you could not give up, you could still beat people really well. But we are trying to get on the podium, and we keep missing that. So it's a, it's a mixed bag, you know. What place did you pull back, like, from Kellen or? Um, Say that again? When did you fall back like from Kellen or? I basically checked off the path when they started to run under 5.30s. Um, that's what Coach Ben thought. He was like, I think you just got to stay in the 5.30s. And he was right and ended up running slower than that. So Was that like first down or was that, that? Yeah, that was probably by like six or seven. Right. Yeah, they started to roll a little bit. Yeah. I knew that was a possibility and I had to just kind of run with it myself. And I thought maybe people would fall apart, but everyone was super strong today. Those times were incredible. Yeah, they ended up almost getting the course record. Yeah, like 224, I think, for four. So that's, yeah. That's yeah, I mean, it didn't, it, it wasn't like crazy fast that happened. And then they're like, oh, three people almost got the course record. Yeah, but the first three were right together. I know. I think it's a combination of obviously good good conditions, good competition, new technology of shoes, like all those factors really make a difference for sure. Do you have yeah. any idea what's next? Um, I've had a strange year, uh, so um, I have some things I'm trying to work out personally and uh, some stuff with my health I have to figure out, so um, I don't take uh, anything for granted, but we weren't really looking past this race right now. Right. Good yeah. job. Thank you so much.